More than 50% of BVI overnight visitors are now entering through the St. Thomas USVI Gateway. And these figures have led to efforts by the BVI tourism officials to improve the visitor arrival experience at that gateway. Director of Tourism Sharon Flaxmars told JTV News that a soft opening of the BVI information booth was recently held at the Serial E. King Airport Terminal and the Charlotte O'Malley Ferry Terminal. The booths are operated by Tropic Tours of St. Thomas. Visitors to BVI now receive assistance geared at improving their vacation experience even before they set foot on BVI shores. Esther Fraser, Executive Assistant to the Director of Tourism, spearheads the newly opened greeting service program at the two terminals. So when a guest comes in uh, from wherever they are, uh, whether it be from Europe or the United States, um, they enter the baggage claim area or arrival terminal in the Sarah Lee King Airport. And our kiosk is located right as you come in um, near the first carousel. Uh, our greeters rotate the area to interact with different guests. Um, and hopefully they'll see our signs that say British Virgin Islands. And they can stop by our kiosk and get any information that they need on the British Virgin Islands, whether it be on Tortola or our sister islands, Anagata, Just Van Dyke, uh, or Virgin Water. Um, they can also get assistance with lost baggage or if they need help with uh, ground transportation or there, if there are any ferry challenges, our friendly greeters are equipped to help them with that. So they approach the greeter and they tell them what their needs are or if they have questions, they ask the, those questions and our greeter gives them the information. It's really set up to be um, the start of the guest service experience with a focus on more personalized service. So we're hoping that um, all our guests that travel through St. Thomas to get to the BVI will take advantage of this service. But what has been the feedback from BVI visitors going through St. Thomas? Um, locals and visitors alike um, have come and said that you know the service is really refreshing it's good to be able to meet a BVI face before they get to the BVI um, and it takes a lot of the hassle out of that transfer between the airport and the ferry to get to us and it's good to know that we have someone on the ground that can assist them as far as our feedback here uh, in the BVI those that have experienced the service or seen our kiosk they've given us some really good positive feedback um, even information that we should you know make sure that our greeters have um, so that they're able to give that information to our guests meanwhile Sharon Flaxmar said that discussions are ongoing with VI Airlink to finalize a contract for improved airlift from Antigua into the BVI discussions are also ongoing with the ferry task force to further improve ferry services and a visitor center is scheduled to open on Jos van Dijk in May the director of tourism says the board's cash sponsorships have been scaled down, but assistance is being given with marketing efforts to events such as Jazz on the Hill, Quito Memorial Weekend, Leverick Bay Poker Run, and the first exquisite boat show. Additionally, the long-awaiting completion of the bathroom facility at the top of the baths is almost complete. The facility, equipped with a ramp for persons with special abilities, will be accessed by the over 80,000 vacationers who visit the baths annually. In February 2013, when three portable bathrooms were stationed in this area until the permanent structure was complete, Director of Tourism Sharon Flaxmar said, as an upscale destination, we have to provide infrastructure that meets the travel needs of our guests and those who patronize our diverse tourism products. 